Who can be in the house speak with me? Yes, sir. Water is here. Raise your right hand to the water. From the east and west, I call thee Uja. From north and south, I call thee O Adonai to bless this water that your servant may use. So must it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Drink from it. Sprinkle some into your head, to down to your body. And sprinkle some on your bed before you sleep. By tomorrow morning, you are set free from this problem. It is well with you in Jesus' name. It's not going to wait till tomorrow morning. After spraying it, within some minutes, your body will change. It will change and you are healed from this problem in the name of Jesus. God bless you, Amina. You're welcome. Please try and avoid some safety things. Try and avoid some safety things. Control yourself. There is a quarrel coming up. I don't know. Somebody is coming up to offend you. Through a phone call, someone you know, someone that is close to you before now, we will call you to provoke you to anger. The reason why this person is coming to call you to provoke you to anger is because of the great thing that is coming to meet you. There's a surprise coming, something like money, blessings from someone, favor from someone far away from the country that you know is coming up and this will be something that will help you, just like a first gift you have ever received in your life. Then this person going to call you is someone you know who will come with problems. We want to provoke you to anger. Person will say things that will provoke you and get you angry. Please try and hold yourself not to get angry. Rather, cut off the call. Do not answer the call again. And stay out of that person so that you can achieve this thing that is coming to meet you. It's a blessing from God. God bless you. Do this and make sure you come back with testimony before you even sleep now or before I leave the line. God bless you. Okay. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, it's sir. Well with Thank you. you. You're welcome, Nietzsche. You can speak with me. I want you to pray for me. Everything around me. Everybody is just forsaking me for no reason. I don't know. I will pray for you. I will pray for you. But there is a little mistake you are having. The problem yes. you are having around you. Yes. You are too free. You are too free. Your heart is too open. And you live a gentle life. You have a very gentle lifestyle you are living. You do not want problem. You do not want people to see you. Or family game. You are calm. You are scared of trouble. Yes, sir. And people are taking your kindness and your calmness for granted. Yes, sir. The Lord protect and guide you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you today. Everything that has been a negative forces upon your life, that is causing failure, making people to desert you, making people not to answer or obey you or favor you. I disconnect you away from them with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Seal up whatsoever that concerns you in the name of God the Father. God Amen. The Son, and God Amen. the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. And from Amen. today onward, men will favor you. Amen. Women will favor you. Girls Amen. will favor you. Boys Amen. will favor you. Even children Amen. will favor you in the name Amen. of Jesus. Every child buried in the ground, cast on earth, throw into Amen. the river, tie on a tree. For Amen. your sake and neutralize them with the blood of Jesus. Anywhere your Jesus. name is mentioned, evil author, Shirai, Kovon, or whosoever that they are mentioning your name. And from today, I command the Ghost Father to begin to represent your name over there in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Amen. Father, for answering these prayers. For in Jesus' Thank you, Jesus. name we are praying. Amen. Amen. You're welcome. You will get Amen. home when you get home today. You go to the House, the back of the house. You pick a sand from the back of the house. Are you with me? Sand from back of the house. I pick a sand from the front of the house. Portion of Bible. 
Psalm 11, Psalm 12, and Psalm 14. This you should read into the, the, the sound when you place it into a bucket of water to bath. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. This this is what you do. Then on one white candle while doing the prayers. Then when you do this, you bath with the water, use your soap and sponge, but do not dry your body after bathing. If you can do it today now, do it before tomorrow morning, you are going to come back with this money. There's a revelation going to be revealed to you within the night. Call me, you will be taken to a place where your matter has been tabled spiritually. Your eyes will witness some things. Then you call me tomorrow morning and tell me what you see. I give you more okay. further guidelines on how to follow up until you achieve your aim. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank this you, what sir. You do. And stop you. complaining yourself to friends. You have bad friends around you. Your friends will not help you. Most of the friends you have, there are witchcraft powers in them. You okay. keep people in your home. You have friends staying with you in the house. Yeah. I'm not saying chase anybody out, but just be careful. God bless you. Okay. Speak with me. Good morning, sir. Man good morning, daughter. Good, good morning. This is morning. Is well. Yes, sir. You can speak. I need you. prayer about my relationship. You need prayers about your relationship. Yes, sir. The only place you are going to be careful about your relationship is you people spreading about yourself to the family. Spreading yourself the secret between you and your guy friends or the family your body forbids that you have problem within you and your spouse then you begin to explain to your friends or the family this is what okay. your spirit forbids keep it to yourself only God that gives blessings and added no sorrows okay. keep it to yourself rather you pray over it and ask God for divine intervention. Okay. If you are able to follow it up in this way, I tell you the sky is your limit. Okay. Everything will keep working out for you. Okay. Sir. I don't see I don't see a family problem here, but a kind of a problem like you guys are bringing problem to yourself because of the people you are explaining your relationship to even the guy if you meet with somebody today is explaining about the problem people are having if you have differences you begin to explain also you the same thing with other people they penetrate you people spiritually then you people will be having more problem in that relationship even if they do not come to talk into the matter they will be having problem in the relationship mm. are you with me sure. you know what yes. i'm talking about yes sir. thank god you know that so please just try and avoid that i'm going to pray for you today for god to give you the sense the knowledge for you to go with your relationship okay. but this point i just dropped for you you have to change and this you're going to change okay by sir explaining yourself to other people you have problems okay. settled in the house go to your knee and ask god god please what should i do and god will reveal to you what you need to do the lord bless okay. and protect you in jesus name okay. i pray for you today every errors you have in your life and in your relationship i cancel them with the blood of jesus blood of jesus every powers or negative forces that be disorganizing your plans in this relationship I cancel them with the blood of Jesus. Yeah, of Jesus. Every arrow shot upon you and your spouse, I return it back to center for harm and billions food in the name of Jesus. Amen. For in Jesus' special name we are praying. Amen. Where is your brother? He has more nature. Where is your brother? You have a brother in the house? I see yeah. somebody. Me? Not too tall, slain, and have like chocolate color yes i see somebody standing as a brother in the ring spiritual yes. ring concerning yes. you this one has small body not too tall he has chocolate color not too dark and not fair yes it's my immediate follower it's your immediate brother 
the same yes. one, the same father. Yes. Tell him to keep praying. What is his name? Who is Chooks? Um, I don't know, but his name is Apna. I also hear about Chooks, but let's see if that and let me finish up with this. Tell him to pray seriously because his lifestyle is turning upside down soon. That he will not be able to feed, neither will he be able to buy or achieve whatsoever that is his him. There's a kind of a spirit following him. Okay, sir. Strongling here and there. Then for him to be balanced will be difficult. Even if he's balanced now, it's about to start going down. Who is the owner of the plantain banana planted at the back of your family house? My grandfather. Your grandfather? Yes, sir. There is something done over there concerning the family of your mother, which is the children of your mother, your own mother. How many wives did your father marry? Just one. There is something planted there between you and your mother, the children of your mother, that is making you people to climb and go down. Some who have made it will go down again. Are you aware of that in your family? Yes, like someone has told us this before. Inside the banana planted at the back of the compound, there is a place there that looks as if they are throwing dirty on, uh, in it, like dustbin. And at the center of the banana, there is this place, a space at the center where we have some black soil. Then at that center, there is a cat that comes to stay there every evening and leave again. That cat is a witchcraft forces which is tempering with two people's destiny in any way you are in the city because something yes. concerning you family yes. is in there. The cat, my mom is complaining seriously that cat used to come around and be crying in the compound. Sometimes they would not cat sleep, sometimes they would crying be in the compound. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm listening to you. Yes, she, she used to complain. She said the cat, sometimes it would be black, very dark black cat. She come and be crying in the compound, maybe sometimes behind the compound. So, Sometimes they will not even sleep. Sometimes they will wake up and be praying, praying, praying before the cat will stop crying. And it's a demonic cat. It's a human being, a lady from your father's side. Hmm. A lady from your father's side who is envious and jealous of the destiny you people came to the world with, angry with your mother, he does not want her to eat the fruit of her labor. In the spiritual realm, this lady is standing as a second wife. To your father but it's not his second wife physically it's a sister to your father's side but he's standing as if it's his second wife dragging this home with your own mother this is the reason why you all are facing failure yeah. so now your mom be complaining of a new pain new pain and waist pain yes she has waist pain already she has waist pain and this is has... spiritual affliction she has waist pain already this is spiritual affliction. They are afflicting her with sickness. Hmm. Oh. Now, you are going to do some practical. She will tell her what to do. She's going to pick a little sand from where the plantain is, if possible. Oh. Okay, sir. She will put a bucket of water on the ground. Okay, sir. Add that sand inside the bucket of water. Okay. A bottle of chessy, pour it inside the water. Okay. White powder. Okay. Salt. Okay. Then if possible, you can get anything alligator pepper. You know alligator pepper? No. Okay, don't worry. Then you pray the portion of Bible. Psalm okay. 47. Okay. Seven times. Okay. Psalm 47, seven times, and Psalm 18, one time, into the okay. water. Buy only one candle, close the door, lock the window of the light, and okay. pray with the flame of the candle into the water. Okay, sir. After that, tell her to bath with the water. She can use her sponge or soap, but she must okay. not dry herself after bathing. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. 
this she should do she will have peace she doesn't sleep well just I tell her this i'm telling you she's having yes. nightmares she's having yes. bad dreams horrible dreams yes. and now she has been telling you she's dreaming seeing dead people yes so since this last week she has been telling me this so when we prayed we fasted and prayed about it so yesterday she now called me that ah she had a good dream yesterday i was like what was your dream that we, she saw us in three bedroom flats that we built a very big and beautiful house. We were celebrating a wedding in our house that one of her daughter was getting married, but she don't know the particular person. So she was very happy in the dream. She walked up, her spirit was very free and happy. That was after the fasting. Mm -hmm. This is the message God is dropping today. After the fasting and prayers, the Lord do answer the prayers. But now, the Spirit is bringing this message to complete the whole assignment. Okay, sir. Let her do this and pray for all her children when she's okay. naked bathing. Okay. After this, I'm going to give her instruction on what to do to bath her the sickness and it will go back to the sender for harm in the name okay. of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In your own case, in yes, your own sir. case, get a candle, light okay. it, Okay, Write your request on a piece of paper and pour powder on the surface of the paper. Okay, sir. If you are able to get any incense, you light it during the time of prayer. This prayer must be done by 12 midnight. Okay, Remove sir. your clothes while doing this prayer. Put a bucket of water close to you. Okay, Push on the Bible. Psalm 48. Okay. And Psalm 65. Okay, sir. Read it into the water. Then you okay. bath with the water. Okay, sir. But meanwhile, you have to break one coconut into the water. Okay, sir. Then you bath with the water. Do not eat the coconut. Ask okay. God to stabilize you in relationship because you are passing through failures in relationship, disappointment. Okay, sir. This disappointment I'm talking about, nothing good is happening. Nothing good is coming out. Yes, yes, yes. And Lord will bring out good things for you and from now onward in the name of Jesus. Amen. This you should do and come back with testimony. The Lord okay, will be your strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank